Hi, in today's episode I would like to talk to you about the last joint of pianist's fingers, namely about the idea that this joint, particularly at the beginning of piano education with younger students, tends to be broken this way, or if it remains in the more round position, very often causes lots of tension in the wrist or, uh, or in a hand in general. I would like to offer two pieces of advice uh, regarding this aspect of setting up the hand on the keyboard. The first one is to completely remove the aspect of dynamics. What I mean by this is to allow the student to find its comfortable space. As Chopin used to talk about um, the comfortable zone of playing the piano, a zone which produces a beautiful sound. So in this case, the sound that students might produce at the beginning will by normal standards be insufficient. So it will kind of oscillate between maybe triple pianissimo or double pianissimo just to begin with. But it will result in student not breaking that last joint, instead feeling that it can just maintain the correct finger position while producing that gentle sound. Now, the second piece of advice is to take time when setting up the hand on the keyboard. In my teaching, I take anywhere between few weeks to few months of that kind of very gentle playing and pretty much playing with no dynamics whatsoever until hands are properly set up on the keyboard. I think in the meantime, while we are not focusing on doing dynamics, we can do many other things. We can uh, improve students' listening, we can improve their notes reading, understanding of written text, many aspects of music. They can play games, all kinds of other things. While we are waiting for that last joint to strengthen, to align better, and basically to allow it to naturally get to the hand position we want. Finally, just a quick exercise that quite often helps and it's easier on students. When they sit down first few times at the piano, they tend to feel quite uncomfortable because the instrument itself is not something that we naturally, I think most of us naturally feel well at. So sometimes just putting students' hands on a desk or on a closed piano, so just let's say like this, and asking them to tap things, just to make a bit of noise, tends to produce a very good alignment of fingers and doing this for the first few weeks regularly and then transferring this onto the piano keyboard tends to have very good results. And that alignment of the finger without the last joint being broken, particularly if you're not demanding too strong dynamics, can be achieved faster. I hope this makes sense. Please let me know down in the comments if this was interesting and please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.